Now, a social media model found bruised and bloody, her boyfriend dead after he was suddenly stabbed. There's many unanswered questions. The victim's family furious. The idea that this was somehow warranted um, is unthinkable. After the high-rise horror, that model's lawyer does not deny that she killed her boyfriend. But he's calling what happened self-defense. Seven Sheldon Fox reports. A bloody Sunday domestic killing inside a trendy Miami high-rise. I think everybody is in shock, actually, like, flabbergasted. These images come courtesy of TMZ. The sparkling one Pariso condominium is where it got violent days ago. And now, a 27-year-old man is dead. And his family is devastated. My brother was a he was a he was he was so caring. My inspiration, inspiration to others, funny, very bright. He had big dreams. They're grieving for Christian Obumseli, who lived with his girlfriend at Miami's Pariso condominium. I do believe she is a killer, the killer, and she does need to be arrested. I like to be submissive. Courtney Clenny, a famous Instagram model, is who Miami police say was involved in a physical altercation with Obum Selly, who was stabbed. No arrest has been made, but police say they're still investigating with the help of the state attorney and medical examiner's office. We're hurting right now. The family learned of Obum Selly's death by way of the medical examiner. Police were called around 5 o'clock Sunday to 3131 Northeast 7th Avenue in the apartment where the couple lived. It's where they found Obum Selly gravely injured. He was rushed to Jackson, where he died. I'm Courtney Taylor, and I do OF for a living. Holy fans. Clenny, who goes by Courtney Taylor on Instagram, has two million social media followers and is being represented by attorney Frank Preto. He released a statement, which reads in part, it was not criminal conduct. Courtney was defending herself and the investigation will reveal exactly that. We have no cause to believe that this was a case of self-defense. We just want justice for my brother. Sheldon Fox, today in Florida. Now the state attorney's office says they will review this case once Miami police finish their investigation.